Hey, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna talk about the iOS 16 lock screen and some hidden tricks that you can do and not many people know about these, but I think you're gonna love these. Before we jump into the video, you know what to do. Subscribe, hit the bell icon, and also like this video. So let's jump into the trick number one for your iOS 16 lock screen, and that's this. You can tap and switch your lock screen. So this is, and also you can do it in a way that they, the lock screen change every hour, every day, or on a tap, the way I have it uh, right now. How do you do it? Let's jump right into it. So I'm gonna go to uh, customize, right? So what you wanna do is go to the blank screen and add new. And then from here, you wanna click on photo shuffle. And then choose manually. And this is where you're gonna select your uh, picture. So I'm gonna do, let's one, two, three pictures right here, and then click on add. And these are the one I'm already using, but you can see uh, all three pictures have been added. Now, at the bottom, click on these three dots, and then this is where you can select the shuffle frequency, daily or hourly or on the, on the tap. There you go, I have it set up on the tab. Also, you can click on these bars right here. And if you wanna, let's say, if you wanna add more photos, you can do that. If you wanna remove any photos from your shuffle, you can do that as well. So really, really cool. I'm not gonna set it up right now because I already have it. So let me actually go back because <laughs> that's what I have set up right here, those three uh, of my favorite uh, wallpapers. So that was our trick number one. You can set up dynamic wallpapers like this. Another thing not many people know let me go back in the customize and then the lock screen. There's some really cool filters. So if you look at the bottom, it says natural. If I swipe black and white, duotone, and then color wash. So there are these awesome, awesome filters that you can use. Look at that. That not many people know about these uh, for your photo. And these will work on any, any photo as well. So that's our trick number two. So let me go back cancel it. Now, another thing is, if you're like me, let's talk about trick number three, and you have so many <laughs> lock screen set up, and let's say you want to delete something. It's very simple. What you want to do is swipe up, and then you'll see like delete icon. You can delete it, and then the lock screen will be uh, gone. So that was our trick number three. Now, trick number four for lock screen, and uh, this is awesome, and I bet you didn't know this one. So customize, go back here. And if you click on here, there are many different fonts that you can select, right? Look at that. So, but guess what? There's some more fonts <laughs> and colors. So if you click on this globe icon, look at this. So you have Arabic, and I, I don't even know how to pronounce this thing. <laughs> but look at that. So that's another font that you can select. Arabic, you can select those. Um, go back right here. So that, that was our trick number <laughs> four. Another thing here is you can also, let me go back here. When you click on this color icon, you can change the color, but then also there's an eyedropper tool right here. So when you click on this, and these are the background colors, and you can go to the spectrum and also look at that, how it changes your lock screen background. So that's another thing. If you don't want to uh, many people, and I do this all the time, if I, if you don't want to use any photos, uh, you can also use like a really, really cool colors. Now, let's talk about, let me go switch to my other lock screen. Uh, tip number five or trick number five. You see on my lock screen, I have that text. Failure is not an option. So what this is, this I'm using a, a widget or a, an app. So what that app is, let me show you that app. You're gonna to go to the app store and here's the app, lock screen one, this one right here. So download that app and then you can uh, come back, come here inside the app and then whatever you wanna type, dream crazy big. <laughs> and then let me close the app. And now when I go back to the, let's bring up the, the lock screen and then you can see, ooh, there you go. So it, it switched. So very simple. There are other apps, other widgets that you can use too. Um, but this is a really, really uh, simple one. It does one thing and does it really well, lock screen one. Now, one other thing I'll point out is on your lock screen, 
you can also set up apps and they can directly open from here so for example if i click on instagram it's going to open my instagram so you can launch apps from your iphone lock screen not many people know about this if you want to see how to do it i'm going to put a tutorial on the screen go watch that and then you can add whatever apps you want to open on your lock screen so go watch that video and i will see you in that one bye for now